Hey guys, hello, how's it going, pals? Alright, so here I am, uh, sketching Junkrat and Roadhog. As you can see here, I'm just doodling them out in a little sketch with some red ink. Do 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 do. And I get the, gotta get those little nips just right there on Junkrat. Oh yeah, get to make sure that belly's nice popping out on Roadhog. Oh yeah. And I'm just trying to get my idea out as fast as possible that I had in my head because, like, you just lose it after a while. So that's why you see me, like, changing things a lot and erasing things and everything. And that was Rosalina, as you can hear there. But we're just gonna pretend that's not there because I don't want to re-record that. Okay, um, yeah, so I end up just erasing Junkrat completely and just sticking with Roadhog. Because I decided to make stickers of them separate. That way people can buy them as a set at, like, conventions and everything. And what I'm doing now is I just started a new layer and I went ahead and I did the, what's it called, like the, the blue there. Because whenever I'm taking my time drawing things like this and I want to be really detailed, I like to do different layers, like a lot of layers like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and skip to the black line art, so here we go. And with this piece, what I did a lot was I like experience, or ex ex experience, experimented with the different line weight and everything. And I used like a different brush to it. I think I used the dry ink brush in Procreate for this one. So that's why you see like a lot of things being like really thick in the line weight and then like really thin. I just wanted to have fun with this piece because I love Roadhog. So I don't like playing him, but I just like... I like his character design a lot, and he thinks he could be really cute, so that's why I made him super cute in this picture. And really, like, cartoony style looking. Roadhog's gun looks like a butt. <laughs> oh yeah, I was drawing the little the little bullet thing that he has, like the shotgun shell thing. I did like 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 how I pictured it would look. But I ended up not liking that, so I did a butterfly, but then I didn't like the butterfly, so so I just went ahead and I asked some friends what do you think I sh should do in um one of them said pigs. It should be shooting out pigs. So I was like, "Okay, that sounds cool. I could do that." And I drew some derpy looking pigs and I had to redraw the gun because the gun was all off now because I wanted the pig to look like it could fit into the gun like as if it was really was shooting it but I don't know if I really projected that the way I wanted it to but we'll see I like it the whole thing ended up coming out cute anyways so and I made this bottom little piggy all looking like he's crying because he's sad because we're all kicking him along the way as they're fighting. Now I started coloring these and I wanted to do it kind of like a watercolor looking style so I did the lightest to the darkest. Well I tried to at least I kind of forgot about it because it's easy to fix whenever you're doing it digitally but um, I think I used like the blotchy ink brush and like the watercolor looking ink brush to like get this effect the way I wanted it to. And as you can see, I left I I use the the back of the the white canvas behind it to make the colors look like that watercolor looking style. And then I 
went ahead and locked the pixels for the line art layer that I had. And I went ahead and I colored, I kind of played around with the color to experiment and see how I liked it to make it look more of that like cartoony style that I was going for. And I played around with the changing of the color of the lines because I've never done this before. So uh, you can see me like figuring out what colors I liked, what, what colors I thought looked better. And then as always the last thing I always do in all my drawings or some semi last things I always do is add some highlights at the end to kind of make the colors pop more and things make things look shiny and stuff. And I ended up not liking how thick I made the lines. So I ended up going back and making some, like erasing some of them and thinning them out and then redrawing them again. And it, 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 I did this piece just for fun. Cause like I said, I like this character a lot. So I just wanted to have fun with it and play around with it. So you'll see that a lot, a lot of things, a lot of things are changing here. <laughs> But yeah, then I went ahead and I added some shading to it to give give the whole piece some more depth and everything. Um, but after that, it's like pretty much it. Um, yeah, if I can just ask everybody, I guess, to like, like, comment, and subscribe and all that. Um, this is this is it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you for watching.